Hello and welcome to Apprentice Effects. I'm your host, Erin Shaughnessy, here with an update for the week of February 6th. With the bone-chilling temperatures that New England is experiencing right now, everything is basically frozen. No, not that kind of frozen, this kind of frozen. And we would like to give you a few pointers on how to recognize and treat hypothermia so that you and your family can stay safe this winter. Hypothermia is a serious medical condition that strikes during very cold weather or when people are chilled from rain, sweat, or cold water. Shivering, exhaustion, confusion, fumbling hands, memory loss, slurred speech, and drowsiness are signs of hypothermia. Babies with hypothermia have bright red cold skin and very low energy. Seek immediate medical attention if you begin to suspect that you or someone you know is suffering from any of these symptoms. Hello, my name is Kevin for this week's update. Bullying has become a major problem throughout the United States. Many children are bullied at school, at home, and even online. This has created a crisis that leaves many children emotionally damaged, leading some to commit suicide. With the seriousness of this issue, it is critical to find the solution to bullying. The first step toward putting an end to bullying is building awareness. Most people have undergone some degree of teasing at some point in their lives. Therefore, it is important to make sure that everyone is aware of the extent of the problem and the effect it can have on children. Put together bullying programs. More schools and other organizations are creating anti-bully programs they can use as bullying solutions. These programs take a close look at what is going on in a specific environment and open communication. Create empathy. One of the best ways to ensure your bullying solution will work is to keep the lines of communication open. Parents must be open to communicating with their children, talking about the negative effects of bullying, as well as instructing them what they should do if they're ever bullied or see someone who is bullied by other people. Bullying often results from children who aren't feeling good about themselves. While this isn't the only reason why children bully others, it's often one of the biggest reasons. For more information, you can visit the site in the description below. In the spring, work is expected to start on streetscaping and improving sidewalk conditions on Bridge Street, which is being funded by a small town economic assistance grant through STEEP, which is administered by the State Department of Transportation. This allows the town to overhaul the sidewalk from Young's Field Road to Main Street on the north side of Bridge Street, which is in such bad condition that sometimes people in wheelchairs have to move onto the street because the sidewalk is unpassable which entirely defeats the purpose of having a sidewalk in the first place. This long-needed repair is just one to add to the many improvements and streetscaping that New Milford has taken on within the past few years. And these updates not only revitalize the beauty of our town, but makes life easier for pedestrians as well. As the blizzard hit New Milford, Susie Cosman knew she had to do something to help those who may have been caught in this element of surprise. She said, I went to the dollar store and I bought knit hats and gloves and tied them to the tree on a green with a scarf. Her act on helping the homeless inspired many people, showing that people can make a change just by doing something grateful and bringing a smile to their faces. Hello, Austin Hengel here for the Apprentice Vex Entertainment and Technology Update. Born under the signs destined for future greatness, now grown Jupiter Jones dreams of the stars, yet lives the unfulfilling life cleaning other people's houses for a living, with an endless line of bad breaks. A genetically engineered hunter by the name of Cain arrives on Earth in search of her. It is only then that she finds out her true fate that's been waiting for her all these years. Her genetic signature marks her as the heir to an extraordinary inheritance that could alter the balance of the cosmos. Jupiter Ascending features Mila Kunis, Channing Tatum, Sean Bean, along with many others. This sci-fi fantasy film, written and directed by Andy and Lana Wachowski, has already burned up on the ratings, only getting 6.7 stars from IMDb and a 36% rating from Rock Tomatoes. As an audience score on the site, 97% of users want to see the film. While the Super Bowl is one of the biggest sporting events in the country, their commercials are just as big of a hit. Many of these companies pull out all they have for both the advertisement and entertainment aspect of them. Some that made it on our radar include the Mophie All Powerless commercial for longer lasting batteries. Well, what happened was anything bad that could happen did. And it's all because God knows 
what can happen when you run out of battery. Another interesting one was the Brady Bunch Snickers commercial. You get a little hostile when you're hungry. Sure, Jan. One I enjoyed was the Dodge Wisdom commercial, where we have some funny and thought-provoking century-year-olds giving us advice beyond what you'd expect. And there's so many more. If you want to see any that I mentioned, click the link below to enjoy what you missed during the big game. Hey, this is Cameron Weiss here. Just wanted to let everyone know that the Apprentice Effects sports crew had the opportunity to film an entire basketball game start to finish. Click the link to check it out. Are you ready to build stronger connections with your kids? To stop nagging, yelling, and threatening? To find solutions to problems that work? Then the Parenting with Positive Discipline class is for you. On Monday, February 9th from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m., free introductory classes will take place at the max where you can meet the instructors and learn more about positive discipline parenting. At this workshop, you will have the option to sign up for a six-week parenting class series starting on Monday, February 23rd. The introductory class is free, and the six-week session costs $65 with scholarships available. Registration is required. Please contact Laura by emailing laura at youthagency.org for more information or to sign up. On Wednesday, February 3rd, over 20 dozen eggs were collected by this week's ski club. The Student Advisory Board and the Youth ANC staff who helped bring the eggs with a message of hope and happiness. Thanks to everyone who helped to make this event a wonderful time. To learn more about upcoming events like this and more, please visit our website. How often do you see people using a Kindle? How many do you know that own one? Or do you own one yourself? If you do, that's great. But do you still have all those paperbacks lying around because you don't want to purchase them again for the Kindle? Well, that's their standpoint. Although this may be true, Kindles are now offering you the ability to convert your old books into a digital form. It will cost you more than the initial $19 for the software, possibly even $49 stated elsewhere, but not in monetary value. To get your books onto your Kindle, you'll have to use a flatbed or other type of scanner which means you'll be working two pages at a time. May not seem worth it, but it could be a great use for those out of print books you won't find in their library or even getting some of your notes in there. That way you don't have to lug around a huge binder. Welcome to Friday's weather report where we're looking at a wild weekend ahead with your weatherman, Duo Zen. Based on weather.com, you can expect this weekend to be a crazy line of storms. Starting on Saturday, there will be snow showers throughout the day with minimal accumulation with highs peaking around 30 and lows only a few degrees lower. On Sunday, snow showers will restart in the afternoon and pick up during the night, adding only a few inches more to the ground, with temperatures reaching just above freezing but still mostly within the same range. On Monday, however, you can expect the largest push of these storms, with snow adding even more inches along with slight wind and similar temperatures. Over these three days, there will be anywhere between 3 to 8 inches of snow, I estimate the total is going to be towards the upper end. Drive safely and bundle up. Weather out. In school, there's a tons of students with tons of friends. But did you know there's at least one kid who doesn't have a friend and would be happy to even if one person would be their friend? Well, the No One Eats Alone campaign is carrying a simple message to cities across the nation. We believe that a new day is dawning. A new day in which all kids feel included, valued, and accepted by their peers. At Beyond Differences, we are dedicated to helping teens and schools make social inclusion the new reality. If you want to make a difference, click the link in the description below and find out more information on what you can do to change a person's day. American Idol has become one of the biggest talent-based competition shows we watch as a country. Many of the contestants, and especially the winners each year, have their career shot out of cannon and reached new heights. Back in 2008, David Cook was the victor. Always into music, his career really took off. Now living in Nashville, he's working on his 11th album. Better yet, he'll be playing with his band at the Richfield Playhouse on Wednesday, February 11th at 8pm. That's all for now. This has been Austin Hangel, and I'll see you next week. This month is Heart Healthy Month, and I wanted to give a few healthy food tips. If you like fruit, then try blueberries. They can actually improve memory, help protect the human eye from damage by sunlight, and also blueberries have an anti-cancer benefits. If you like juice, then grapefruit may be your next favorite juice. Ugh. Hold on, yeah. If you like juice, then grape juice may be your next favorite thing. 
The juice from the grapefruit helps to improve digestion, also helps to reduce the excess production of cholesterol in the liver. Fruit isn't the only thing that is healthy. Ginger is very effective in preventing symptoms of motion sickness and especially seasickness. Also helps reduce muscle pain and soreness. If you want to know more about food facts like these, please follow at Facts of Food on Instagram or post an interesting fact of your own and hashtag Facts of Food. This past week, Super Bowl 49 took place with the Patriots coming out champions. It seems to me that our whole nation was more preoccupied with the event than anything else, with some of the biggest concerns being over deflated footballs. While it's great that we can all get into the festivities of this annual event, it seems to me that our minds are clouded by trivial things, when we should be focusing on more prevalent and pressing matters that can actually affect our daily lives as we know it, like climate change, for example. The reason that climate change is suppressing matter is because it's an issue of survival. It is the biggest threat to mankind, and if things don't change, this Earth may not be able to sustain life whatsoever. We see hundreds of species of animals going extinct, and soon enough, we'll be next. Take action today to save tomorrow. A few months ago at the climate change rally in New York City, Leonardo DiCaprio was quoted as saying, this disaster has grown beyond the choices that individuals make. This is now about our industries and the governments around the world taking decisive, large-scale action. Now is the time to join into the effort to save the world we live in, because if we don't, we may never have the chance to again. There is a historic saying that goes, treat the earth well. It was not given to you by your parents, it was loaned to you by your children. We do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, we borrow it from our children. Give your children the chance to live with the unalienable rights that you received when you were born. Maybe if we put as much time, energy, and money into trying to save our planet as we do the Super Bowl, many future generations will be able to enjoy this earth as it is and not have to die out with it. This has been Aaron Shaughnessy and thank you for watching. See you next week on Apprentice Effects.